In this quick tutorial you will learn how to make this shiny logo effect in After Effects and all this is super simple so let's just go right into it. So I just made a new composition and we need our logo first of all which should be a transparent PNG file and some random background I just use a dark solid. But yeah, let's start with the first of all with this shine effect which goes from the right to the left like you can see here this yeah, right line and this is super simple we just need one effect which is called the CC light sweep effect so just look it up and apply it to our logo and if we zoom in we can already see a, yeah, a light effect but it's not that strong so let's play with a few settings so first of all let's increase the intensity a bit and also the wideness just like this this is what we want and now we can simply animate this by just keyframing the center so let's go to the beginning of our animation and put in a keyframe in this center thing here and then go forward like one or two seconds and just bring this to the to the left fully until it's not there anymore and actually i made a little mistake because at the beginning we wanted to be on the right so let's just go back to the beginning and just move it to the right so it's not here and then it will just go from left to the right and as we can see this looks super cool and we always have the option to play with these settings so maybe you want to change the edge intensity a bit this will make it look more three-dimensional more realistic or the edge thickness but this is completely up to you so just do whatever you think is cool and yeah i think this already looks good but as we have seen in the example we also have these nice shiny sparks going on here or i don't know how to call them exactly but these three stars that will just yeah, give it like a really highly polished look, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, let's also do this real quick. For this we can just make a new shape layer, so just right click in here and make a new shape layer. And open this up and let's add a few things. So first of all we want an ellipse path, so just add this. And we want also a fill, so we can actually see it. And the fill we want to open up and just put in a white color in here just like this and as you can see this is a sphere and not a star or not a star like uh, shape like this so we add one more effect which is the pucker and load effect just like this and now we can increase this or actually no decrease it so give it a negative value and maybe let's just hide the, the logo layer real quick so we can actually work on this better and we can see it's, it's this nice star thing and yeah, let's just animate this real quick, so open up the ellipse path and let's keyframe the size. So let's go to the beginning of our animation and put the size to zero and just put in a keyframe in here and then go forward like one or two seconds again and just bring this up just like this should look good, so not too big, just this is good. And we also want this, now if we, if we play this it's really slow and looks not elegant. So let's also play with the graph editor a bit. So click the size in here and open up the graph editor with this little setting here. And just click on the size again, so everything is selected. And now we have to hit the easy ease button down here, just like this. And now we can actually play with the curve a bit, which is quite fun. So let's select the first keyframe and just bring this up, just like this. And you can see now it will just pop in the beginning and then slow down, so it's more dynamic which is exactly what we want and we're already done with the size animation and now we can just go back to the normal settings and also animate the opacity just to make it disappear after a while so as we can see it will just get bigger and in the middle of it so like we have two seconds or one and a half so let's just go in between there and press T on the keyboard to open up the opacity settings and just put in a keyframe in here and then go to the end which yeah, it's not far away and just bring this down to zero and maybe we can even bring this a little bit to the left so we'll start earlier and this also but yeah just like this we have these nice shiny animations and I think they are a bit slow but of course we can we could change that by just moving the keyframes around a bit but now we can just press P on the keyboard for position or actually just select this uh, selection tool and just bring it to wherever we want and also press ctrl d on the keyboard to duplicate this and move it around and now we can actually press s on the keyboard to uh, yeah go to the scale settings and just move, bring the scale down and ctrl d again to duplicate it and move this so we have just maybe three of these 
and make this really small but this is completely up to you how you want to do it and we can also just displace them a bit on the timeline so they will start at different times just like this maybe and yeah i think this is cool of course you can see this is oh this is too big and if you want to edit them uh, all all in the uh, yeah all at the same time we can actually make a pre-composition so it will be easier and now we can just adjust this pre-composition a bit because i think this is way too big so maybe let's make it a bit smaller and just move it here and yeah i think this is cool maybe we wanted to start when the shine is actually on this corner just like this and maybe we want it to be a bit more on top of it but uh, you get what i mean and you are free to play with all these settings i think in this one it looked better but yeah in this one it's way faster the the sparkle animation so maybe make the keyframes shorter but i think this is a good basis and yeah thanks for watching <laughs>